All right, we're on a field trip. This is page 198, 199. It says to hide this page in a neighbor's yard. So, it's a little bit chilly out here, but I still have flip flops on because I was too lazy to put my actual shoes on. Um, so, I need to hide this in a neighbor's yard, but which neighbor and where do I hide it? Okay, I think I found a good place to put this. We have to be quiet. We're sneaking up to the house. It's Ian, the Off Kilter Crafter. Hope you're having a great week. It's time once again for Wreck This Journal. So just in case you've missed the other videos that I've done so far, make sure to click this box right over here. That'll take you to the different Wreck This Journal videos that I have so far, so make sure to go check those out before you watch this one. Now, something that I overlooked in my last video, I had completed a page, but it disappeared. So one of the pages said to wash this page by placing it inside your pocket and then sending that pants or shorts or whatever through the washing machine. And I did that, but the page disappeared. I don't know what happened to it. Um, I'm not sure if it shredded in the washing machine and washed out with the rest of the water, or maybe it was abducted by aliens, or I don't know what happened to it. It's just gone. I can't find it. So. I did complete that page, but just couldn't find it after it came out of the washing machine, so can't show you that one. Don't forget guys, if you want to work on these challenges with me, all you have to do is click in the description below. There's a link that will take you to the Amazon page where you can check it out and buy your very own copy of the Wreck This Journal. Um, you can also purchase it from most book retailers like Barnes & Noble and others like that. I don't know if Half Price Books. Is Half Price Books a national thing? I don't think it is. I think it's only here in the Dallas Fort Worth area. I don't know. Tell me. Leave me in the comments below if you know anywhere outside of the Dallas Fort Worth area where there's a um, half price books. So on page 132, 133, it says to document a boring uh, event in detail, and I did. <laughs> I rode the train, and when I rode the train, I left basically every couple of minutes, I would write down what was going on when we get to a station, when we leave from a station, and then when I finally got to my destination. So this is just basically me going through and writing down that boring event. I really like to ride the train though. It's a lot of fun and you get to see a lot of, you get to see the world go by as you sit there and drink your coffee. It's a nice feeling. You don't have to be stuck in traffic. I also added a few more stickers onto my page that says collect fruit stickers. I put those there. I've started collecting the stamps off of my mail, so if you send me something, I can put your stamp inside the book. So far, I have three stamps from two different envelopes. On page 90 and 91, it says to trace everything in your bag or your pockets and let the lines overlap. I did that, but I want to go back in and make it a little more colorful and a little bit more fun to look at. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with some new pages today. We're going to be doing, the first one we're going to be doing is page 65, which is Journal Golf. It says to, one, tear out the page, crumple it into a ball. Two, place journal in a triangle shape, just like the picture right there. Uh, and then three, hit slash kick the ball through the triangle. Why does it have me tear out so many pages from this journal? Crumple it up. All right, let's try it. Uh, get back here. Yay! Made it through. 
Awesome. I have to glue the page back in at some point. I'll set it off to the side for now. Oh, I forgot I did another page the other day. I went to lunch with one of my friends, Blanca, and I had a really good sub sandwich from Jimmy's Food Store in Dallas. It was really yummy. The page uh, is 34 and 35. It says to document your dinner. Rub, smear, splatter your food. Use this page as a napkin, and I did. Um, so there's some uh, Jimmy's sub sandwich all over this page. It's really good though. All right, let's do page seven, which says to pour, spill, drip, spit, fling your coffee here. Okay, I know some of you are going to say I was cheating by putting that piece of uh, paper towel there, but this is the next page and I didn't want to mess that up. Page 101 says to doodle over the top of the cover, the title page, the instructions, and the copyright page. Then it also says to fold down the corners of your favorite pages. Well, I'm not done with the journal, so I can't fold down my favorite pages yet. But I can doodle over some of these. I think I'm going to do some of them and leave some of them for another day. So let's get started. My journal looks a little different now, doesn't it? So I covered up the front. It's coming up a little bit. <laughs> covered the front with washi tape and then my fur. <laughs> I just poked myself in the eye. And then um, the title page now has a Doctor Who theme to it, which I'm really kind of happy with this. This looks pretty cool. The next page on page 137 says stick photo here. Uh, glue on a photo of yourself you dislike deface. Let me see. I think this photo will work. I don't like it at all. Alright, so I have glued my picture in and now it's time to deface. There we go. Kind of funny. All right, this next page is page 190, and it says to collect dead bugs here. I don't want to put dead bugs in my journal, but I have a better idea. Oops, I almost cut out the other pages too. I accidentally cut out this page while I was trying to cut this one out. Oops, well, they don't call it wreck this journal for nothing. So I've attached it so that this one folds out, so that way you can still see the page behind it, and now it has dead bugs on it. And then this one's just put in upside down. Boy, am I wrecking this journal. This page says, drip something here, ink, paint, tea, close the book, and make a print. All 
Alright, so I think that'll do it for this edition of Wreck This Journal. Hopefully you like this series. If you do, give me a thumbs up down below so that way I know you're watching these videos and enjoying this video. And don't forget guys, send me in pictures of your pages and I just might put them in a video along with mine. So make sure to do that so that way I can see all the creative ideas you're coming up with. Until next time guys, keep it off kilter. Bye!